Texas coach, Chris Beard's fiance, is taking back what she said on December 12th when she called 911 alleging that there was a family violent assault that occurred. Now, she alleged on that day that she was strangled and bitten, and uh, but she did admit to starting the altercation by taking Chris's glasses and breaking them. Apparently, they had been fighting uh, for days. There's not been a mention of what it has been about, except for that it was about the relationship. Uh, and she got mad, broke his glasses. Apparently he went into the other room where she had gone into and a physical altercation ensued. So today though, she is taking back her statement saying that she never intended for him to get arrested, uh, especially on a felony charge of strangling her. And She's deeply saddened by the incident, according to her, but says that Beard was acting in self-defense of her. So, different story a couple weeks later. Chris and I are deeply saddened that we have brought negative attention upon our family, friends, and the University of Texas, among others. As Chris's fiance and biggest supporter, I apologize for the role I played in the unfortunate event I realized that my frustration when breaking his glasses initiated a physical struggle between Chris and myself. Okay, you should have realized that the day of. Anyways, I don't condone uh, violence, but I also think if you're going to be violent towards somebody, their reaction is going to be violent towards you. And it doesn't matter in my opinion, that you are a woman. You do not have the right to put your hands on a man. Um, the university is saying that they're reviewing the statement from Randy True. The matter is the subject of an internal investigation and the university does not comment on pending investigations. True, which is the fiance, initially placed an emergency call from the house and told responding officers Beard had strangled her from behind to the point where she couldn't breathe. And this was for several seconds and bit her when an argument turned physical. The affidavit listed several visible signs of an altercation, including bite marks on her arm and abrasions on her face and leg. Initially, she told police, he choked me, bit me, bruises all over my legs, throwing me, uh, throwing me around and going nuts. In the police report, it says that True had struck him and that he had tried to grab her wrist to stop her. When asked if any punches were landed, Beard told police, I think she was trying to hit me in my private parts. So not a good look for either one of them I think she obviously made a huge mistake I think she is the one at fault for taking this uh, one starting the in initial fight and two calling the police because what did you think was going to happen when you called the police on a domestic and you said that she, you were choked now, again, some women who are in these situations absolutely need to get help, need the police's interference. But from what it sounds like, this was just something that just got out of hand. And now this may ruin his life for the rest of his life because this is a felony. This is not a misdemeanor charge. Um, subscribe to Rovis Rants, hit the like button. Tell me what you think about this entire situation and we'll see you soon.